Good morning, everyone. So up and at him bright and early this morning, actually off in Texas at that uh, real estate event I talked about on this channel, uh, I don't know, probably a month, maybe a month and a half ago. So uh, going to be a little early the next three or four days uh, while uh, I still got to do what I do and uh, go to the events that start about uh, nine o'clock central. So uh, news today looks like you know, the the, uh, the economic cycle is going the way we t we've talked about, right? We've talked about it slowing down in manufacturing. We've talked about it slowing down in business investment. We've talked about it slowing down from a consumer kind of consumption perspective. Yesterday, we had uh, a sign that the service sector, which is the largest part of the U.S. economy, uh, starting to slow down, still growing, but, but came in uh, with a pretty terrible number. And... Uh, Everybody today is already talking about this important jobs number being uh, being a little scary. So uh, it'll be interesting to watch it. I think I'm going to be at the event when it actually gets announced. So I may record another video on that later in the day, but we shall see. Uh, but as I said, the, the economy is doing what, uh, what, unfortunately, what I thought it was going to do, and layoffs are getting announced. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but HP uh, announced... 9,000 uh, layoffs coming. Now, some of that will become from just natural attrition and some early retirements, uh, but still uh, in a sign of what's likely to come more and more frequently, uh, they announced 9,000 workers, uh, which, is a, which is a huge number. But when you look at it as a percentage of employees, it's 16%. So roughly one in five. And again, this is why I've been talking about for at least two months now, if not two and a half months now, you need to look yourself in the mirror, ask yourself some hard questions about your job, right? Are you in a position in your job where you're close to revenue, close to the client, uh, so that you would not be at risk from, uh, from a first, first cut because it's coming? In addition to that, WeWork uh, had an all-employee meeting uh, yesterday with their new CEO, and when pressed, he indicated that layoffs were coming as well. Uh, that company um, is flat out fighting to survive. They've got to restructure, get right. And, um, you know, I think Sam Zell uh, pr might prove omniscient. And uh, that business model just doesn't work, right? You lease big spaces at the peak of the market, recession happens. And what, you know, sounds sexy, buy by the foot, lease by the inch, um, doesn't work when the recession comes. Uh, in addition to that, looks like Hong Kong uh, isn't going away. Uh, it, it hasn't really hit the press uh, probably enough. I think it probably deserves more attention, but it looks like they just had an emergency order banning face masks. Uh, there were some, some, you know, some pretty unfortunate events uh, as tensions rose and uh, some injuries occurred uh, on both sides between police and protesters. Uh, it's not good. Um, and unfortunately, it probably gets worse before it gets better. Uh, I am not there, uh, but uh, just it seems to be smoldering, and um, at any minute, uh, a big match or some more gasoline could, could cause it to go uh, to get worse. Uh, looks like we were right on Tesla again. Uh, if you've been watching this channel for a while now, I, I said three or four days ago that, you know what, uh, one stock I would, or one, yeah, one stock I'd be, or company I'd be worried about would be Tesla. I happen to live in, in the Bay Area where it's seeming every other car is a Tesla. Uh, but as I said in that video, and I said today, or I'll say again today, it's a, it's a want, not a need, right? You don't need a Tesla. Uh, it is extremely cool engineering and, um, you know, a great car, I am sure. Uh, but when a push comes to shove, do you need a Tesla? Uh, I think the answer is no, and I think if the technology landscape, all these unicorns that were printing millionaires kind of disappear or get slaughtered, uh, there will be a lot less Bay Area Teslas, and um, uh, the reason I bring this up is there's actually a wealth manager quoted as saying, absolutely no reason to own Tesla in the near term, says wealth manager. So I guess we, I don't know, I guess our opinion is shared uh, elsewhere, uh, in addition to that, uh, I'm not quite sure why the GM UAW uh, strike is not bigger news. We've got to be entering or getting close to a month 
uh, at which point, uh, as I said very early on in this, I thought the UAW had the power the first few days, uh, but now as it goes on longer, uh, I think GM has the power. As people living paycheck to paycheck, they're getting $250 a week strike pay. Uh, that, uh, that is going to increasingly hurt. But more importantly, it's going to ripple across more and more manufacturing. And, um, you know, eventually, uh, I suspect the executive branch is not going to have that. I am actually surprised it's not already in the news at that level, talking about, you know, get back to the table, negotiate, you know. Uh, the executive branch uh, has often claimed to be a great negotiator, so uh, get in there and, uh, you know, help help everybody out and let's, let's get people back to working in, in building GM cars. So in the end, um, you know, I think, I think the economy uh, is going to go through uh, this natural cycle. And it, it hurts to kind of say it, right, when unemployment um, goes up, when, when people have to be laid off, uh, when companies, I mean, just for example, HP, you know, they're talking about 16%. The company's estimating that saves a billion dollars over like five or six years. So... Uh, you know, this is just what going to be companies do, right? When they kind of try to balance the bottom line with the top line, uh, often um, headcount uh, gets cut. It feels terrible. Letting people go is terrible. Being somebody who's let go is terrible. Uh, please don't think I'm happy about this. Uh, I'm not. Uh, it's just a natural part. But as somebody who follows the consumer and cost of capital, it's going to be a good thing, right? Because cost of capital is going to go low. Uh, and to talk about that, if you watched yesterday's video, I talked about being down 1,100 points, which happened right after the announcement uh, of the poor uh, ISM number. And then what happened? Everybody started to realize that the Fed's going to cut another quarter point on October 30th, uh, and the stock market uh, came back. I think that's really interesting, right? The economy is now going down. Uh, but hey, wait, the, you know, the Fed's going to cut a quarter and likely cut a quarter again. Um, as I've said three times now, I think, I actually think the numbers are going to be so bad uh, the Fed cuts a half on October 30th to try to plug the leak. Uh, but once the momentum gets going, it, it just, it's got to happen. Uh, and then the last thing is uh, it looks like private equity is getting ready to go shopping. I've talked about Sam Zell and Warren Buffett having rec record cash levels. Uh, private equity is going to go shopping. And this is what's going to happen for real estate investors. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, when the owner-occupant's demand falls, when listings rise, like in Manhattan and um, uh, wherever that other place is in New York we talked about yesterday, rise. It's going to happen in all markets. Uh, and I'm going to start picking up stuff. Plus, cost of capital comes down. I'm going to ladder up. Um, I'll probably ladder up some of the stuff that's paid off with this interest and go on a shopping spree. So this is what's going to happen. It's a natural part of the cycle. Don't be nervous. Protect yourself, right? Make sure you put yourself in a position uh, to keep employed. Um, but it's, it's, it's time to learn your market. If you don't know how, there's a link below. Uh, but it's time to learn your market, and it's going to be time to go shopping. I think 2020 is going to be an excellent time to buy investments. Unfortunately, uh, that means uh, some people are going to lose their job. You know, some people who uh, bought overpriced investments that I've been talking about the last couple of years are going to get hurt. Um, but as long as we protect ourselves, we buy below the median, we buy affordable, we, we are good landlords, uh, I think it's going to work out. So at the end, uh, have a great day, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.